Welcome to another edition of Smalltalk for You. This morning we're going to take a look at one of the older tools in Smalltalk that's been updated as it happened in Faro, and that's the workspace. Again, we pop up this basic menu, pull workspace down from it, and we get a little thing labeled Shout Workspace. It's just a new updated version of the tool. I can start typing Smalltalk code in here, so I can do foo colon equal one, and do it, do it, and now I have the variable foo available to me in this workspace, so I can say bar colon equal foo plus 10, and if I highlight that and do it, do it, and now if I inspect bar, you notice that I get 11. So it did remember that I've got that variable. Now you might wonder, how did I know all these things exist here? Well, if I go ahead and inspect it, notice I get 11. That's the last thing I did. Notice it highlighted the last thing I did. And I can also do an explore it, and it'll show me that thing there. So I can explore this, and I can inspect it and take a look at any object that's sitting here. And if I pop up this menu inside here, notice I have a few options. I can do things, I can print things, I can inspect them, I can explore them. And notice I can debug things too. This is useful if I have a bunch of exploratory code that I'm working my way through before I even get to a browser. What I want to do is kind of step through it piece by piece and just see how things work. I can also profile things. Now find, hopefully you're not writing enough code in a workspace that you need this, but you can do that. And you get all the standard editor things, copy, cut, paste, and so on. So it's a very useful tool. You can write arbitrary small talk code in it. And it's kind of useful for ad hoc testing and just code exploration and spelunking where you're just trying to feel your way through a problem before you even get so far as the browser. So that's about it for today. Until next time, have fun with whatever small talk you're using.